Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and we're here to answer your questions about boat electrical systems. So today we got a question about grounding of an inverter. I'm adding a small 400 watt inverter at the navigation station. The DC wiring for the inverter is straightforward. The inverter has a separate ground stud though. I assume this provides AC grounding for the three wire receptacles. The question is, where do I attach the wire from this ground stud and what size should it be? Nigel, what do you think? So, yes, that's a, that's a ground stud that you see on a lot of inverters with nothing connected to it. The simple answer to that is that the conductor connected to that ground stud needs to be the same size as the negative conductor from the battery which means it's a big conductor, mm -hmm. particularly if you've got like a three or five kilowatt in uh, inverter, you're talking uh, uh, hundreds of amps. Mm -hmm. On the DC side, you're talking a big conductor, which is uh, one of the reasons why I think it's not put in there. The ABYC has an exception there that that conductor is allowed to be one size under the DC negative conductor. Mm -hmm. The ISO does not have that requirement. Yeah. So it's primarily there in case you get a short from the DC side to the case of the uh, inverter because then that conductor is going to be carrying the full fault current on the DC side and if it's not sized the same size as the DC negative it's going to melt down. So basically it needs to be a pretty big conductor especially I mean for a 400 watt um, inverter that's not that much yeah. but uh, it basically needs to be the same size as the negative one or if you're in the US it can be one size under one size and actually if it's a small inverter like this one 400 watts it's not allowed to be one size under it's only if the if the negative conductor is above and I can't remember off the top of my head what size that is but a fairly substantial conductor and then you can go one size down oh, okay. we have a similar grounding stud on a lot of battery chargers mm -hmm. for the same reason mm -hmm. and the same thing that uh, conductor has to be the same size as a DC negative conductor yeah. Yeah. that's a big conductor. Yeah, depending yeah on it's a lot of, on, on a powerful battery charger or inverter, it's a lot of copper in the mm -hmm. bone. Yeah. And it's expensive. Mm. You see with these topics, it's actually not that straightforward sometimes. No. Nope. <laughs> especially when it comes to AC, DC grounding, all these mm. um, different systems on your boat. So if you are interested and want to safely and reliably install your own systems, then please check out our courses at boathow2.com where we go in a lot more detail about that and see you soon.